Today we're going to talk about a common way that people lose a relatively new PSM 45 and that is getting a breech jam and they don't understand it. The gun seems to be working normally, shooting normally, but nothing's shooting and so they think it's broke. They give up on it, they send it back because they wrongly think it's broken. All right. And so well, let's go ahead and how to clear this breech jam. And it can either be a bad BB or one you got off the ground. Please don't do that. You'll see in the background the Black Widows. So these are good BBs. I would use those not copperheads in this model. So I like the Black BBs. Black Widow, Black Diamond. Okay, so let's go over this. There are pins that hold this gun together. There's a master pin here and a little one back here for the butt plate. There's a butt plate right there. And you have to take out both of those from this angle, right to left, right to left. The hatching and the anchor is on this side. And so a lot of people can make mistakes and, you know, hurt the gun trying to take this thing apart. Um, let's fix this without taking it apart. Okay, so let's say you use BBs off the ground and a few hundred shots. You manage to jam this. It's not shooting. It looks normal otherwise, but it's not shooting. So we got some basic parts here from the Daisy 340. Okay, uh, you got the barrel, you got the hop up here. So I'm excited to show this. And this is the, um, I'm gonna call it the piston tube. And that's where this goes. Okay, that is what shoots your BB. It goes through there. All right, and then the air comes out here. That's your transport hole. And then that fin right here is your loader. Okay, so Let's go over this. First of all, you have to diagnose this right. Okay, so here's how it usually goes. Okay, you you know have a bad BB, you put a, a, a bad copperhead, one off the ground in there. And so what happens is you're trying to cock it, it's not shooting, you cock some more, a bunch of BBs get loose in there because it's not working right. Your slide jams like that. So the first thing you wanna do is eject your magazine and then do a baby rack, I mean partially and shake this, shake it and shake it and they'll fall out your magazine well, right there, they'll fall out, okay? And then you're gonna wanna look down your barrel. So then you, this is a good tool to use that with lights on it, okay? And you need to know the difference between a BB jam and what the moving parts of your gun look like. We don't wanna jam a rod down here if it's not a real breech jam because you'll damage your seals potentially. You could damage the transport hole and your piston okay so what this looks like when you look down the barrel you're going to do a baby rack that's what i call this partial you partially hold this back and then get in there and look and you're going to be able to do that better on your own than i can show on camera but i showed you the steps and so what should you be seeing when you look down the barrel if this gun is healthy if it's not a breech jam okay so what you're going to see you're going to see this and it's a clear rubber Head. I'm going to use this a pointer right here and then a piece of metal right there a flat piece of metal and Looking down the barrel when you do a baby rack and then you let it back up So you're going to be like this Let me show you as best as possible and you're going to be looking down there and then you let it back up like that under control you're going to see This piston inside that tube go up and down and you're gonna see a flat metal head that right there Okay, it's inside of here and it's going to go back and forth because what's happening here inside your gun it's, this is from a 340 but it's nearly identical to your crossman is you're gonna this is gonna go back okay so if you see all that that is not a bb jam if you see that flat piece of metal go back as you do a baby rack on the slide then that's not it so let's go over what does a bb jam look like okay so first of all, let's talk about how this works. This is your hop up. Here's a BB. This is your loader right here. So let's talk about how this works. Okay, so in a real BB jam situation, we're gonna put this in here. It's like a little ramp. Okay, so here we are. You cock your slide. Okay, and I'm gonna imagine that the, um, oops, sorry, I don't wanna load it. Okay, there we're gonna imagine that this is like my slide right here that I'm holding onto the piston tube. And so then you come back, you grab a BB off the top of your magazine. This is what's going on inside your gun. And then it comes across the top. Now, how fast does it need to come across the top? This is why you don't slingshot. You use, you keep your hand on your slide you, or else you bust this up, 
okay? How fast does it need to go? Not that fast. Take a look. Okay, you see that? There you go. You can see the BB. Now, how fast and hard does it really need to go to load? Not very hard, okay? That's why I tell people, keep your hand on top of the gun and ride it forward so you don't bust up the parts I'm showing on the video for the first time, okay? So now let's take this off. Look in there. All right, and there is a BB in there. Let's see if I can get help you out here and get in really close, shine a light on there. There we go. Okay, so you can see that, and that is exactly, I'm actually happy to see that on camera from this side. That is exactly what you're going to see looking down the length of the barrel. You'll see a point of light and then soft, dark edges. That is a BB in position, and a BB jam will look like that from the looking down the muzzle, just like that, different. Okay. And also, when you're doing the baby rack, here, let me come back out. Also, when you're doing the baby rack to test this, when you're doing that, and you're moving it around like that, and you're not seeing any movement in your barrel, and that's and all you see is what I just showed you right there, that is a BB jam. That small point of light on that ball. Okay? So how do you fix it? Let's, let's talk about that, because you, you do have to know how to diagnose this. You do not want to be jamming this rod down the barrel if it's not a real BB jam, you could hurt your seals. Okay, so we're gonna, okay, so you do a baby rack. Okay, so that, what's that mean? You, it, when you take it back, like I showed, something a little bit more about like that, open up a gap. What's going on inside your gun, it opens up a gap. So you only you need about an inch, see that gap? And then, so here, let me hold it in place. And then you get your rod, and this is exactly what's going on inside your gun. And you see, and then it shoots out and flows down the side here. And when you have it in that baby rack position and you're running rod, then you shake it out and it comes out your empty well. Okay, and then your jam is cleared. You didn't have to take it apart. I felt it was important to do this video. I felt, you know, I have all these loose parts. I should put them to good use. I'm excited to show that to everybody so you know the engineering of your gun. And, um, with the Daisy 340, I want to make clear, this This is strictly for this gun. The Daisy 340 has this gun beaten that you can't easily take off the slide. But I really like this gun. It's been, have no malfunctions. All those lessons on a 340 paid here. Um, and I don't want people to take this thing apart and pound out the pins when you don't need to do that. Now let's end in the way crossmen want me to. Please use good BBs, use good new, good new elite BBs. Consider the Black Widows. Okay, thank you very much and wish you happy shooting.